Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Daniel, and this is morning tea. How's everybody doing? Mm, good tea. I hadn't had my tea this weekend. I didn't take any tea bags with me when I went out of town, so I had coffee every morning. I was honored again this year to be in San Jose for a um, a conference. It is uh, held uh, every Easter in San Jose, and last year I was uh, invited to do a workshop. And this year I was invited to go back again. It was awesome. I met lots of people. I saw some friends from last year. I made some really good friends. I had a blast. I had a blast. One of the best things was uh, there is a certain point in the night where we go from the oldest person in recovery who's had the longest recovery to the person who has who was there the first day. And I was blown away. There was a gentleman sitting to my right over who had been clean and sober, well, I'm assuming sober, for 40 years. I was blown because I'm 40 years old, and he's been sober as long as I've been alive. That just blew me away. It was, it was, it's a very emotional weekend. Um, there's one coming up here in Laguna Beach. They're all over the country all, all throughout the year. So uh, if you're in any part of the country and you are clean and sober, and you want to go and partake of an intense weekend of recovery, check out, look them up. They're usually called roundups, so uh, check those out. Anyway, mine was awesome. I'm happy to be home. Tuesday, happy Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday, so make sure you go out there, get your tacos. If you're in the Laguna Beach area, stop by my house. We're gonna go down to Laguna Beach and have some tacos. Dollar tacos, guys. They're cheap and they're good. So let's get started, because I didn't, uh, I didn't get a chance to read much uh, this weekend. I didn't get to do any videos or anything Friday and yesterday. So it says, Seasons of Beauty, Aging Gracefully. As we cultivate our life, our beauty becomes as much about what we are creating and doing as it is about our appearance. We tend to associate youth with beauty, but the truth is that beauty transcends every age. Just as a deciduous tree is stunning in all its stages from it's full leaf green in the summer to its naked skeleton during winter and everything in between. Human beings are beautiful throughout their life expanse. The early years of our lives tend to be about learning and experiencing as much as we possibly can. We move through the world like sponges, absorbing the ideas of other people as the world like, tree, like a tree in spring. We are waking up to the world and this youthful face of life. Our physical strength, youth, and beauty help open doors and attract attention. Gradually, we begin to use the information we have gathered to form ideas and opinions of our own. As we cultivate our philosophy of life, our beauty becomes as much about what we are saying, doing, and creating as it is about our appearance. Like a tree in summer, we become full, expressive, beautiful, and productive. When the time comes for us to let go of the creation of our middle lives, we are like a tree in autumn dropping leaves as we release our past attachments and preparing for a new phase of growth. The children move on and careers shift or end. The lines on our faces, the stretch marks, and the gray hairs are beautiful statements to the fullness of our experience. In the winter of our lives, we become stripped down to our essence like a tree. We may become more radiant than ever at this stage because our inner light shines brighter through our eyes as time passes. Beauty at this age comes from the very core of our being, our essence. The essence is a reminder that there is nothing to fear in growing older and that there is a kind of beauty that comes only after one has spent many years on earth. So the last part of this is the essence is a reminder that there is nothing to fear in growing older and that there is a kind of beauty that comes only after one has spent many years on earth. Wow. It just gave me chills. Um, wow. Um... Aging gracefully. Wow, that's such a statement, right? Uh, I am 40 years old and I am developing, you can't see them on camera, but I have a couple of white hairs here, which I could probably pull out. But you know what? I kind of dig it. I, I like showing off my little gray hairs. Um, got a little couple of wrinkles around the eyes. I have earned every wrinkle and every gray hair on my body. I have worked hard. There are times when... Uh, it wasn't necessarily work, labor, 
but I've worked hard to get to where I am. I've been through a lot in my life, and I'm sure a lot of us have. You know, for most of you that know my story, there's um, health issues and there's uh, recovery in my life, and it's taking a lot of it's taking its toll on my body. And uh, there are times when I feel just really old and tired, and then there's days when I feel young and vibrant and just ready to go. And I take advantage of every moment. Like today, after this long trip out of town, I just feel a little worn out. So I'm probably going to go back to the couch and crash for a while and just kind of forget about today. So uh, where are your beauty? Where are, that, where are your age with beauty? Where are your age with honor? There we go. That's what I was trying to get to. Where are you with pride? Show your age. Doesn't mean we have to act like we're done, like our batteries have run out, but... You know, we've, we've experienced and we've matured and we have a lot to show the younger generations. Let's do it. Show them what life what life can really be. Um, happy Tuesday, guys. Enjoy your tea. Enjoy your coffee. Mm. Good stuff. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. I've, I missed you guys. Love you and I'll see you tomorrow.